What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a tool that you can use in order to quickly add stairs inside of your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So it's been a minute since we've talked about flex tools. Flex tools is basically a collection of smart dynamic components that you can use in order to add architectural objects. Well, in this video, we're, we're gonna check out the stair components and flex tools and how you can quickly add stairs using these tools. Note that there are other things in here like windows, doors, other things that can, again, save you a bunch of time over modeling these things manually, which uh, I hate wasting time modeling windows and doors. But basically the way that this works is there's a few different kinds of stairs contained inside of flex tools. So first off, we've got the simple stairs. And all those are gonna do is you're just gonna be able to add a stair in a location, right? So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna go ahead and place it, and I'm gonna rotate it around like this, but Basically what you can do is you can set this stair so that it aligns with the ground using the scale tool and then also with the upper portion right here. So usually you're gonna use the scale tool in order to do this. Now, note that when it does this, this is making some changes in here and you can adjust things like the width of the stair just using the scale tool. But what this is doing is this is automatically calculating your steps in here based on some information you can find in the dynamic component options. And so this is giving me information about the current height of the stair, as well as um, things like the max riser height in here, right? And remember that your riser height is going to drive the length of your stair. So you could come in here and you could adjust this so that your max riser height is maybe like six and a half inches or something like that. And if you click on apply there, notice that comes in here and that actually adjusts the length of the stair like this. You can use this tool in order to quickly place a stair by figuring out the height and then adjusting the riser height in here like this. And so note that if I was to adjust that riser height, maybe like down, so maybe something like four inches, which is gonna make it really long, but we can take a look at what it'll do anyway. But then you've also got the ability, if you don't want your risers to be quite so long, you can set like a fixed tread length, right? So if you want these to be like 12 inches, you could come in here and you could adjust this and notice that that's going to adjust those treads. Now, usually for something like this, we probably don't want a riser height of four inches. So um, you can adjust this and notice how that stair is going to quickly adjust. So if you want to create just a simple stair, this is an easy tool to do that. We've also got tools in here for stairs that are going to kind of round a corner. Let me go ahead and take the walls on this one and bump them up a little bit. So we're going to say, this is going to go a little higher. But let's say you wanted a stair that kind of rounded the corner. Well, you can use this L-shaped stair in here in order to do that. So I could bring this L-shaped stair in like this. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. We're gonna move it up and we're gonna align it with the floor and the roof or the, uh, the second level just by using the scale tool. So notice how I can scale that down and then scale that up like this. And what that's going to do is that's gonna adjust this stair in here. Now, one thing to note about this is the L-shaped stair. What it does is it comes in here and it produces a landing. You can set where on the stair this is going to go by going up to the option for interact with dynamic components, and you can click wherever you want that landing to be. And so the cool thing about that is this automatically adjusts the length based on where that landing is, right? Because so this length and this length have to adjust based on where that landing is. So that's actually coming in here and it's adjusting the overall length and width of the staircase to match wherever you set that, like this. So then I can just take that object, move it over, and I can align that with the corner like this. So creating those L-shaped stairs is really easy. One thing that's kind of an interesting, um, one, one thing that's kind of an interesting thought is if you wanted more of like a U-shaped stair, you could probably do that just by taking this stair and scaling it down to align with the midpoint right here. And we're going to have to adjust this so that you get the U maybe in this location right here, but you could take this stair and then you could create a copy of it using the move tool like this. And so then once you get that aligned, all you have to do is just come in here with the line tool and just kind of fill that in. Now, if you do adjust the stair 
later on. Um, obviously, you're going to have to adjust where this piece is going to be, but you can kind of combine two L-shaped stairs in order to create a U-shaped stair um, with multiple landings. Now, there is also a tool in here that allows you to create just a regular U-shaped stair. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to take these three pieces, move a copy over here, but in this case, what we would do is kind of the same thing, right? We'd place the stair, you'd scale it so that it fits like this. Then you would set this landing location and you do it with this tool right here. So wherever you want that landing to be, um, it kind of depends on what you want your stair to look like, obviously, but you can use this in order to create this U-shaped stair. that's also going to perfectly fit your height. Now, just one thing to note is we have been coming in here and just adjusting these using the scale tool. And so you can come in here and set this manually and you can uh, calculate your stairs by the overall run, um, really whatever you want it to be. Um, if you do want to come in here and do the math manually. So I pretty much always use the scale tool just because it's easy to use, but you can definitely use this tool in order to quickly add these kinds of stairs. And then say we wanted to create a plan view. If we look at this from the top down, um, these look great from a plan view standpoint. So we could use this to easily create and add those stairs um, for our plans as well. Um, one other cool thing about this is they also have the function in here to flip. So if I click on this, right, I can flip the direction of the stair just using this flip function right here. All right, and then once you get um, kind of where you wanna be from a stair standpoint, then you can come in here and add things like balusters, right? So I've got this one that I've downloaded from the 3D Warehouse from James B. And so we're just gonna take that baluster and we're gonna quickly add it in here, right? So you can use the array function of the move tool in order to create a bunch of copies of this really quick. So times, times eight, something like that. And then I could use this to create some equally spaced copies right here. And then just come in here and add a profile and generate our rail, right? And there's a bunch of different ways that you could do that, but we might take a line. And then just draw it all the way to the wall. And I'll just pick one of these handrails profiles from JPalm32 in the 3D warehouse. So we'll just do a control C, control V, and then we'll just use the follow me tool in order to add rail. Maybe scale it down a little bit, but adding these stairs and rails can be really easy using flex tools. All right, so I'll link to flex tools in the notes down below. For setting up stairs, it can save you a ton of time. Um, we may do some tutorials uh, in the near future about creating some different kinds of railings for stairs. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.